Okay, welcome back to our touch design tutorial. We are going to work on with some painting exercise. Um, so I create my project folder. And the first one we are going to do is the painting by using the mouse. So I use painting mouse as the project name. So as usual, I remove all the unnecessary objects first. So the first one we're going to do will be again the video device in. So I would like to paint the live image from the webcam. And then I'll flip it for a mirror image in the X direction. And in order to achieve the painting effect, what we are going to do is we need to sample the RGB, that's the color information from this image. What we are going to do is we make use of the chop. So we convert the top TOP to chops by using this one. And then we can have a look. Of them so we are not using alpha so I remove the alpha channel just keep the RGB and in the cropping we need to make some change for example and in the original design of that one the default one is cropping by row that is cropping one row of the pixel so you have this kind of moving RGB curves and for the painting we're going to do we want to just pick up one single pixel so we will crop by using a pixel and in order to obtain the pixel we need to specify the UV coordinate where U will be 0 to 1 horizontally and then V will be like vertically 0 to 1 so we can keep for example U 0.5 we open five there will be somewhere in the middle of the screen that the changing value of the rgb when i move in front of the camera so the next one will be how we are going to pick up those uv value and there are two options in this series so the first option is as i mentioned now using the mouse at the painting tool so in this case is interactive so we make use of the mouse input that is mouse in so the mouse in actually give you two value tx and ty that is the xy value coordinate of the mouse and if we would like to use the normalized value that is between minus one to one for both TX and TY, we need to choose the output as normalized instead of normalized uh, respect to the aspect ratio. Once we have this one, and then we need to relate them together. So now we have mouse X and Y changing from minus one to positive one. But the UV value that we're going to use will be like along this slider 0 to 1 and also 0 to 1. So in that case we need to have a mass for the conversion. So the input range from range will be minus 1 to 1 and then output range will be 0 to 1 with positive value. And then I use a now and to give it a name so that would be used for the color pixel. Okay, and the next step we are going to do will be try to connect it over here, which is this two value. It's pretty straightforward. We put the TX to the 
U value and then export the chop and TY to the V value and then export the chop so now when I move around my mouse across the screen the RGB value changed and what exactly is the value is picked up so we are going to convert it into real color in visual form so what I want to do is I use a top or you can use cine graphics I try to use the rectangle first and I make it a little bit smaller and then change the aspect ratio and also the resolution to the standard one we use 1280 by 720 so now we have this rectangle you can consider this is the paintbrush that when I move my mouse I want to move this paintbrush around with certain color so the color we are going to use will be from this RGB value and for the rectangle you can also change the field color by putting three values around here so that is exactly what we would like to do so we drag the red to red the first value and then the green to the second value the B to the third value so when I move my, around my mouse actually I'm picking the color of that particular pixel which is kind of beneath my mouse pointer and to make it a little bit more easy to see we can do the fill screen with the value so I connect this to the output window first so when I move around my mouse actually this one turn into the color pixel that is depicts the color that's picked up under the, the mouse from the uh, video device in that's the webcam image okay the next step or actually the, the remaining step is how can we make this square or rectangle move now according to my mouse position so in that case we can look into the range of number that we want to have so for the mouse is minus one to one but for that rectangle to change different position so we are going to connect it to a transform and then instead we turn on the view for the transform the, the display button and then try to move that one around by changing the translate so if I type minus 0.5 actually this one go to the left margin and then positive 0.5 it go to the right margin so we more or less conclude this one like center will be on the center of the screen minus 0.5 positive 0.5 along the two margin which is also valid for the y dimension okay so with this knowledge so we can add another mess for the mouse and with the from range again minus one to one but the two range will be minus 0 0.5 to positive 0 0.5 in order to pick up the position of this rectangle and we can connect this to a node and then change the name
name. For example, like position, and then turn on viewer active, and to drag these two number to the translate. One for the X, the other for the Y. So when you move around your mouse, <coughs> so you start to notice the changes in the position of your of your square, and which will be a little bit more easy to not chop the relation in the full screen mode. So that is what you expect to see around here. Okay, so the next step is when we are moving around with the mouse on top of my own image, that is the video image. So there's only one single square appear. And how can we accumulate the path of the movement and then to have the effect of painting? So that one will be a feedback. So you can do it yourself or you can use the palette browser with the image filter or feedback. That's the banana here. And we can then put it in between. And also remember for the feedback we can also turn this opacity into one in order to have the full location of this. So we are going to have this one. And I would like to make it a little bit bigger such that you do not need to draw too much on the screen. So the effect will be something like this. And if you have the patient, you can fill in all the black area with your color pixel. And eventually you can create a rendering of your own portrait in front of your webcam. So that is the effect of this painting exercise. Okay, 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 okay. And one more step. And what happened if I want to clear the screen and then to do without the the former painting that left over by the mouse. So for the feedback actually if you take a look and there's a button called reset. So when you click on that one that will reset the the canvas, you can say. And for that one, we can make use of a keyboard divide as keyboard in. And then I'm using the key number one. And then we connect it with our logic. And then in the pre operation, we detect only the rising edge. So in this case, when you press, you, you kind of uh, generating a button click to the feedback. So we are ready to drag this one to the recess button and export the chop. So every time you click or you press the one key, you, you clear up your painting in this case. So that is more or less what we have achieved by using the mouse as a painting device I can reset and then you have this again. Now this is the painting process. 
and some of you may ask whether we might have other form of the paintbrush rather than a square so of course you can use all the primitive shape that you have from the TOP and I try to have one more demonstration before we conclude this exercise is if you are not using a rectangle for example like if you have something like a very narrow one and then a longer one in y direction and a shorter one in the x direction so you have something like a pen so I clear the screen first so this is your painting by this print brush and what I would like to do is I try to rotate this print brush automatically by using another chalk that's the bit we are familiar with so I add another chalk that's the bit I keep the speed of this one and then add a mass for the rotation of 360 degree from here 0 to 1 0 to 360 so now we have this rotating number so what to do with this rotating number is I also make use of the transform I turn on the wheel active for the rotation number and then drag it to the transform for the rotation so now your paintbrush is rotating continuously by the bit chop so the result will be something like this I clear the screen you have this kind of rotating paintbrush to do your painting and it will be a little bit more interesting than the regular rectangle or square or just a circle so you kind of simulating the different direction of putting your paint onto your canvas and eventually if you have the time and patience you can fill up the whole screen with this one and that will have your portrait painting done with this particular process okay so this is the end of this exercise and I hope you enjoy this thank you